so today in this tutorial we are going to discuss on some topics which are related to sql so suppose i am selecting one table select star from em okay let me check if that table is coming or not okay so data is there here employee number is there e name is there job is there manager name is there manager id i think yeah because 7902 this should be the id or registration numbers then hire date salary commissions and department number so now we will uh, try one where clause so select star from emp where employee number equal to 7 Nine eight, okay. So if you select this, it will show show you that perfect employee number, and against that employee number, what are the columns are uh, over there in the database? So next is suppose there is any null value. We are saying that in commission it is including null value. so you can write in this way like select star from employee where commission is null if you write this what it will show okay so it will also show you whatever the columns have null values if you give equal to over here we have to check whether it is work or not no it will not work so in this case always remember that is null or is not null will work in this case so i am just writing over here is not null then you can see the columns which do not have null values those are showing over here there is a difference between zero and null that's why uh, you can see when i am writing is not null it is showing zero and other numbers as well so for uh, next uh, topic we will discuss about the aliases okay alias what is alias and why we should use the alias so alias is it is actually temporary name for column and these alias names are created at two levels one is the column level column level in the sense when you creating an alias name for columns and table name and name in the sense when you are creating alias name for table name So suppose select DPT number as X and D name. Okay, D name is not there. So E name, E name as Y. LOC is there. No, let's see. Not there. Okay, no problem. So select department number as X, E name as Y. If you want, you can remove the as also. It will also work as alias. So no problem. From EMP. Now check. So you can see there are two columns. It is showing one X, one is Y. X is representing department number. And Y is representing E name means employee number. Okay. Now next, what we will learn? We will learn about the concatenation. Next, we will learn about the concatenation. So I am selecting one table. Select star from employee. Select. Statements retrieving the rows from employee table over here. Okay. 
okay so now what we will do we will check whether the concatenation is working or not so select the employee select the employee then we are using one pipeline here pipelines will work as a uh, operator a pipeline is work as a concatenation from tmp so what it will happen the employee will be uh, concatenate with employee name here employee name is smith if there is employee name is smith when you are adding this concatenation employee number smith employee number allen employee number ward employee number jones like this it will so you so let's see how it will reflect over here okay so here you can see that employee the employee smith the employee allen the employee ward okay so it is going like this okay if you want some space over here what you can do you can add some space how you can add some space just give rotations then add another pipeline so if you run this command you can see there is some space now okay so this is what actually uh, the way to use employee uh, the employee which make the act the concatenation okay so this is the thing which we have to implement over here and another thing we are going to learn today which is the distinct keyword distinct or unique distinct or unique both work as same okay the main uh, motto of distinct keyword is to remove the duplicates to eliminate the duplicate values from a specific column so select distinct job from employee before that i want to select the employee table to check the data once okay so here you can see clark 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 so clark is repeating over here these are duplicate values so to remove that we will use select distinct select distinct job from employee okay let me try with star okay instead of job let me try with this. okay it will not show that much proper way better to use the job for now okay so it is showing one clerk one salesman one president one manager and analyst so in this way we can do the distinct keyword we can use the distinct keyword next is select distinct department number from employee order by department number select distinct department number from employee order by department number okay select distinct star if we use star over here what it will be so clark king miller adam 